I see your Deacon Kim 1100. Uh, yeah. You're gonna be a doctor one day? No. No. Is it okay if I sit here next to you? Be a flyer. Thank you. If you let it grow more, it would go much better with the shape of your face. Friend, actually, I don't believe you. Come on, I just want you. Phone don't, number. don't touch me. <laughs> you think I was trying to date you? You just think everybody loves you, right? Excuse me. Listen, I just, I just want to get to know you. Okay, I'm a great guy. I can't see that. Please, don't touch me. You fucking snuts are all the same. I have a boyfriend, actually. Oh, come on, I don't believe you. Can I just get you? Don't touch me. Unlike the what blue pillar, the red pillar knows that death. he is not in charge. He you knows the dice are loaded, right? the cards Excuse stacked me? against him. He so knows the world is controlled by I others with interests me? disparate from his own. This is his inferiority, but it is an inferiority he recognizes in order to overcome and achieve superiority. He looks the negative aspects of reality squarely in the eye and fights back. The red pillar is ultimately a positivist and an optimist. Even if he fails in his ultimate goals, he knows that he will, at least, earn himself an honorable death. On the individual level, there is nothing greater to be hoped for. It is only on the collective level that victory counts. The blue and red pills have a kind of complementary nature. The trajectory of the blue pill is from illusory superiority to actual inferiority. That of the red pill from false inferiority to true superiority. The black pill is the least dialectical of the three. It leads from actual inferiority back to actual inferiority. It is nihilism, but nihilism made flesh calls forth absolute egoism, a sense of the self detached from wider contexts and responsibilities. It is this that makes it evil and murderous. The inferior person can either accept context and therefore inferiority, or fight it. The blue pillar rejects his future inferiority by retreating backwards in delusion. The red pillar rejects his present lack of superiority by marching forward through positive consciousness and action to redress the situation. The black pillar, however,
you wouldn't make me baby. Fucking make it fucking hard. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, fuck Hi, um, Sam here. Well, this is my last video. It all has to come to this. Tomorrow is the day of, uh, of retribution. The day I will have my revenge against humanity, against all of you. I, d I deserve girls much more than all those slobs I see at my college who are somehow able to walk around with beautiful girls. I mean, even in the college town that I um, stay in during my semesters, as I walk around like the common areas of those towns or the areas where all the um, college parties happen, I see these obnoxious guys walking with these beautiful girls. And that pisses me off because I should be the one with the girls. I mean, look at me. I'm gorgeous, but, but you girls don't see that. And I don't understand why you're so repulsed by me. Or why won't you give me a chance? <laughs> it's uh, ridiculous. For the last um, uh, eight years of my life, ever since I had puberty, I have been forced to endure an existence of, of loneliness, of rejection, and unfulfilled desires, all because girls have never been attracted to me. Girls gave their um, love and their sex and their affection to other men, but never to me. Yeah. 21 years old and I'm, I'm still a virgin. Never even kissed a girl. It has been very torturous, you know? Hey man, I just wanted to... Oh. Am I interrupting something? Um, no. What's up? Who are you talking to? Uh, Lady friend? <laughs> no. Okay, well, we're all hanging out in the living room, if you wanted to join. Doing some pre-gaming, got some snacks. Not hungry. Okay, well, you should come out with us tonight. And Emily Sorority's throwing a huge party. I don't know. Dude, come on, this is a rare event. And she can totally get you in. Dude, this will be good for you. You have to come, okay? Come here. Come here. There are gonna be so many hot girls there tonight. And they're gonna be wasted. <laughs> yeah. So, you gonna come? Okay, sure. <laughs> awesome, man. We'll be out of here in like an hour. 
You're gonna roll with us, all right? I'm actually excited about this. You excited? Yeah. Great. Let's get you out of this room, okay? Get ready, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>